Welcome everyone back to another Don Machi Memorial Freeze video. My name is Steve Free here. Today we're going to go ahead and review the characters on Argonaut Part 2 banners, Hero Awakening, and for this one over here, the Heroic Lineage. So if you guys enjoy, of course, hit the subscribe for you for more content. We have a new Ariander. I, I'm just going to call them. I'm just, I, Crozo, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to call them by the current character names because it's so much easier for me. <laughs> Eyes and uh, Wolf. <laughs> we have Tion and uh, Argonaut Bell there. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and review those characters. And if you guys know, uh, what we typically do here on the channel is we do the review and then we come back and like the next day or two and go ahead and do the summons. So we're going to go back and do the summons as well. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the characters. Now, personally, I have heard that the uh, Argonaut and the Crozo are very, very good. So I'm excited about this. And let's go ahead and take a look at them. Also, it's interesting they're kind of split up here. Uh, separate spots. Anyways, let's start off with Argonaut. So, really love this art, by the way. This art's really cool. All right, so a physical attack type. What else is new for basically Bell? Anyways, we're going to go here. Uh, double S in strength. Almost 2,000 strength, by the way. And double S in agility. Uh, an S in dexterity and uh, endurance as well. So, overall, really solid when he's fully uh, broken and ascended and all that stuff. Anyways, so let's go ahead and take a look at the special Foes. So a multi-target ultra fire physical attack with a temporary strength boost and oh, this is awesome Damage received attack type all targets increased by 30% for one turn. Wow. Wow <laughs> So let me explain this one for one It's just a for one the top part a generic fire physical attack versus all enemies It also has a strength boost. So that's good, too, but it also has a damage received buff for 30% for one turn. Actually, this is more like a debuff. This should actually apply to your other characters for that entire turn too. Meaning that every attack the enemies take, if it's an all types target attack, then uh, <laughs> all target types attack, excuse me, they're gonna take a lot more damage. <laughs> so this is very good, very nice. We're gonna take a look at Hero Rising. So all types, or all targets, excuse me. Fast low, okay. Fast versus all targets, already looking good. Low modifier, not so great, but that's that's awesome. Still, he can fast versus everybody. Fire physical attack and self-strength and fire attack damage plus 50%. Yeah, this is a nuts ability. This is nuts. So, traditionally, these ones that boost like attack damage or whatever would be relegated to like one target. It doesn't really matter, though, in the long run because, uh, at least from my recollection, I could be misremembering uh, something, but that's fine. Either way, it wouldn't really matter, though, because you would come around and then have the attack damage for your old... Uh, your AOE type attack, right? So single target, strength bonus, and fire attack damage. Plus 50% for four turns, by the way. So he is going to do a ton of damage, <laughs> ultimately, thanks to the Hero Rising. Awakening Spirits. Foes, super fire physical attack. Man, they are putting that super modifier on a lot of units now. So that's very good. Super fire physical attack with an ultra uncounter rate and allies 25% HP regen for one turn. Wow, he has regen. Not to mention the uncounter rate's awesome, but like, he gives the allies a 25% regen for the turn. That's nuts, man. That is, that's so stupid. Like, not stupid as in not a bad, as a bad thing, like, as in a good thing. Like, that's crazy. Um, because that's not even his play style. Like, but he just, he has support stuff in his kit. Like, he's, a, he might as well be a balance type. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he's doing all the support stuff, but he's gonna do a ton of damage. Anyways, we're going to come down here. Oh, finally, another. Oh, oh, okay. So multi, 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 single target. Yeah. Wow. Combination attacks. I forgot that that was a thing. So we're going to have to kind of talk about those now, huh? Fo, high fire physical attack with a temporary strength boost and status debuff plus one turn. So, yep, that's good. That, that That's very good. The good news is it's one target. Otherwise, if that was multi-target, that would be absurdly good. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the combos. Combo, combo. I guess maybe we don't have to talk too much about combos. These are the combo characters. Uh, so foes, non-elemental physical attack activates after uh, sp special attack combos. Uh, what's it called? Special, yeah, special attack. <clears throat> this is too much, probably. I don't think I'm going to include these in my breakdowns. Because they're not, like, super relevant. Cannot be, unit by, uh, cannot be units of same character, okay? Two plus ascension upgrade. Yeah, that's just doing a little too much. Yeah, I'm not gonna include combos. I don't think in the videos. It's just it's a little too much because there's requirements and just stuff like that, and you have to have specific characters. 
it's a little nice extra thing. So if you'd like to see those, feel free to look at them. But I'm just going to continue gauging units based off of their natural kit. Uh, so when countering an attack, regular physical attack type, a foe with... Uh, oh, okay. So when he gets hit, he gets uh, to counter with a fire element physical attack. So that's good. And his counter damage does 50% more. Okay. Cool. All right. Just cuz, man. That's just... Okay. Just cuz. Wind resistance. All right. Combat skill plus 25% to all stats. Awesome. And then also, uh, he has, except for HP, of course, he has Ox Slayer. So, very good. <laughs> this man, I said it a, a few breakdowns ago, but, like, nowadays the characters are just so absurdly good that it doesn't even matter. And, like, the power creep is heavy. It's heavy now. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. And that's not to say that old units or older units aren't going to get eventually buffed or can't still be relevant, but it's, like, I don't come across units anymore that are just like meh or bad. Like they're all pretty good. Like I'd say if I were to t uh, tier list from like Z uh, being the highest, then S, then A, I'd say most units at least are A. You know, they're very good. So overall, it doesn't really matter much. So anyways, we have uh, Crozo. Crozo. Okay, so uh, another almost 2,000 strength. Very good stats, of course. Endurance and dexterity looking nice as well. So another fire type unit. So uh, multi-target, ultra fire, physical attack with a temporary strength boost and physical resist and fire resist minus 35% for one turn. Holy crap, man. That in conjunction with what the bell is doing, the Argonaut, excuse me, whatever. What, what he's doing, this is nuts. This is nuts, man. This in conjunction with any fire unit is nuts. Physical resistance and fire resist debuff on all enemies. And there's a strength bonus as well in there for him. Yikes. <laughs> okay. Jolts. So fast, low fire, physical attack, and strength and magic and agility minus. Th <laughs> Wait. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, man. This is what I'm talking about. Why do they need to debuff all three of those stats? There are units that debuff maybe one. Or two, but he's he's debuffing all three of those. 30%. Two turns isn't that long. It's not that flexible, but holy crap, man. On all enemies, and it's going to get priority most of the time because it's fast. Yeah, that's a very good skill. Pure casting. Foes. Super physical. Uh, super physical. Super fire. Another super modifier attack, by the way. Super fire physical attack with an ultra unguard rate. And physical, res physical resist and uh, fire resist minus 25%. Like... The fact that he's in his natural kit is also absurdly good for all the same reasons as it is on uh, the special, by the way. It's not as strong, but it's absurdly good to have it just chilling here, especially on the super modifier attack. All right. So high physical uh, fire attack with a temporary strength boost and ally status buffs plus one turn. This guy is these these two are I heard they were good, but like they're they are wild. And I can already envision like them being absurdly good. Fire is going to be nuts all right combination again not really talking about those too much well of fire when countering uh you get to counter with a physical fire attack his crit damage is plus 10 percent wind resistance plus 25 percent of strength agility and dexterity uh damage upon penetration penetration is plus 10 percent so he does bonus damage when he penetrates 10 percent also does 10 percent more crit damage as well he's very good <laughs> Very good. By the way, I'd have to double check something with Argonaut. I said he gets all stats. Did he also get endurance? He does. Oh, yeah, he does. Strength, endurance, agility, and dexterity. Yeah, he did get all stats. Well, except for magic and HP, of course. I'm not going to talk about HP, but, like, magic. But he doesn't need magic, so it didn't matter. And then Welf got, or Crozo, got most of those, but he didn't get endurance. Yeah, strength and agility and dexterity. Okay. Well, then. <laughs> all right now on to the assists and it shouldn't be as much to talk about for the assists so can they make a adventurer no no okay I, I don't really care though but okay anyways here we go final remnant reminiscence i said that right anyways uh okay so very well balanced abilities there strength endurance and magic all reach s very good uh so foes mad okay let me actually go down one Foes, magic and endurance, minus 10% and allies null elements times two. Oh, so you're the same thing as like the last one. 15 and the time. Null ailments three times. Yeah, I made this point, I think, in the previous video, how heavy, 
heavy they uh, with this unit's release. How heavy they power crept that Hestia, that just did the allies null elements three times. Um, <laughs> they they power crept the absolute hell out of this card. Oh wait, did she get a buff? That, wait, what? That was not there before. <laughs> I missed something. I missed that. That's tell me I'm not crazy. The dexterity and endurance plus 15 part was not there. That I, I swear it wasn't. Okay, because at the time they power crept the heck out of that card. Like it didn't even make any sense to go from her just having null elements to this one doing the debuffs, right? Strength and endurance as well as crazy attack and defense down, right? And a 15% max with three turns crazy or, or three element resists so this one's magic and defense so it's the same thing but just a magic version with three ailment resists so let me guess are you the inverse of the other one this this already this is a lot of text it sounds crazy bows physical attack physical resist excuse me and magic resist minus 10 percent and self counter and guard rate plus 20 percent so their resistances go down but your defenses go up also, counter rate up is very good for units that do good, uh, bonus counter damage like that uh, Argonaut. If I recall correctly, he did, he was the one and not the Crozo. Uh, a little bit different, but still, like these assists are when they started. Uh, what is it about five or six months ago? Doing like the double assists, basically. That's when things got really crazy because initially we had characters like Rano's here, which is like a one thing, right? They had characters that did single, and then they started putting out double right and when it got double things got pretty crazy so uh yeah all together these units are basically a must-have the thing is they keep putting out now they're putting out these banners in a little bit too quick of succession right um th this is gonna be here for another like 20 days so not it's not like it's super fast but it's like every character feels like they are must-haves and also one thing they really did that's really interesting and they did it on purpose Obviously, they, they put an adventurer and an assist on one banner, and then the same over here. But, like, the two fire boys are absurd. You're going to have to go in on both banners, whether you like the assist or not. So, depending on what you want to do anyway, right? So, that being said, we're going to be back uh, for some summons. I think I'll just... I, I bought the iris. I think I'll just do these. So, we'll be back. Anyways, thank you all for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch all of you in the next one.